So I think design as a practice and designers as a community are well placed to convene a kind of anti-disciplinary conversation about complex systemic issues like a city and healthcare is another one. Now, I think there are not many places from which you can comfortably deal with this kind of ambiguity. At the MIT Media Lab, we often talked about an anti-disciplinary approach. So it's not what, what certain individual disciplines would do, but rather how can you bring design, science, art and technology, why not sociology and social sciences together to ask the right questions about these complex systemic issues. So at the MIT Media Lab, we started something called the Open Music Initiative together with Berkeley College of Music uh, and 170 other companies already over have signed a memorandum of understanding. The basic idea is when we now more and more music uh, is in a celestial jukebox like Spotify or Apple Music or another streaming service, we can listen to it. But it turns out that a lot of the time when music is being streamed, the, the provider of the streaming service can't pay the artists because they don't know who to pay. Now, it's a very simple thing, but it hasn't been fixed because there are, for example, on the publishing side, the comp composition, who wrote the composition, there's like a thousand databases or more, uh, which are splintered. So you can't get the information from one place. So we've launched a simple API, uh, a way uh, of describing that this is the composition and this is who wrote it and connect these two pieces of data. And so really the motivation is at least we should uh, music is such a human universal, creators need to be able to make an income. Let's at least get the information together so the people whose music is already being streamed, they can be compensated. In the future, I think this makes a lot of interesting possibilities. For example, as soon as, let's say we were here together starting a jam, we'd, we'd um, make a recording, immediately we could say, all right, here we were, one third, one third, one third, uh, the three of us, let's say, in this room, and then the rights would be attributed, and as soon as other people would contribute or remix it, those shares could be attributed. So this makes collaboration and mixing up of music and collaboration between artists much easier.